More news now. Expect more demonstrations and community meetings over the police shooting death of a Milwaukee man. Protesters yesterday marched from Red Arrow Park to the Municipal Court building demanding answers about the death of Dontre Hamilton. Some of our is here remind us what this case is all about. Well, Shannon, for many people, the case of Dontre Hamilton is just one that create uneasy, tense conditions that are much like those in Ferguson. And many are watching how this case resolves, hopeful that it doesn't spark into violence. All happened within the span of no more than 30 to 45 seconds. Nearly four months ago in Red Arrow Park, a Milwaukee police officer on foot patrol shot and killed 31 year old Dontre Hamilton. In the late afternoon across the street from City Hall, the burst of gunfire shocked the rush hour crowd. Just a sad situation all around. Police say a pat down turned into a scuffle. They say Hamilton grabbed the officer's baton and attacked him. Milwaukee police say the shooting of Dontre Hamilton was a matter of self-defense. The family says more than 60 witnesses were interviewed that day. What is undisputed is that the officer fired his gun at least 10 times. Swinging pretty violently um, and within a few swings, uh, the officer drew his gun and relatively close range uh, fired 8 to 12 shots. Officers are trained to continue to fire as long as the threat Occurred. From the start, Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn made it clear Hamilton had mental health problems, making him no stranger to police. As recently as last year, police were summoned to the scene where he had attempted to kill himself by stabbing himself in both sides of the neck and saying, Voices told me to kill myself and you people too. Despite their grief, the Hamilton family began questioning the case. They're not giving us no facts that back up why they took his life. I want to know why my son was killed. Why he couldn't sit in that park and just have a peace of mind. A new state law requires an outside agency to examine the case. Since the April 30th shooting, the State Department of Justice Criminal Division has led the probe. At stake, whether the police officer, who has never been identified, will face criminal charges for his actions when he shot and killed Hamilton that day in the park. Now, the family does not know the name of the police officer that shot Dontre Hamilton. Although the case is being reviewed by the district attorney's office, they feel that the Milwaukee Police Department should be the ones to tell them the officer's name. Now, a meeting is being held on Monday between the police department and the family. Shannon.